the biggest of the cat species, the stripes on each tiger are as unique as the fingerprints on a human. Their presence brings balance to the ecosystem and supports the health of local economies. A century ago, there were over a hundred thousand wild tigers roaming the earth. Today, there are barely 3,200, a decline of over 96% in only a hundred years. And with habitat destruction and poaching on the rise, these last remaining wild tigers are on the verge of extinction. In response to this crisis, the Global Tiger Initiative, or GTI, was formed. GTI is an alliance of 13 Tiger Range countries, international organizations and experts in the conservation community with the objective of securing a future for wild tigers. The animals, the plants, rivers, forests and the people in them are all interconnected. Saving tigers means saving much more. If the tiger's habitat is protected, we will also be protecting many of the last critical natural ecosystems in Asia. You remove the top predators in the system, be they tigers, sharks, grizzly bears, jaguars, and the, the ecosystem goes haywire. When you remove the top predators, the herbivores, the species they eat, their populations boom and leads to defoliation or deforestation of the understory. If the tigers go away, forests would disappear. At least in Asia, forests are being held together because of the presence of the tiger. If they go away, forests will be developed into agriculture or kind of some peri-urban areas. So tigers really symbolize uh, the natural health of an ecosystem. And we knew that saving the tiger had to be a global challenge, an alliance of strong local commitment across the 13 Tiger Range countries, but also backed by deep international support. It's about creating things like sustainable financing for tigers. It's about stemming you know, the trade in illegal um, tiger parts, trade in trafficking and demand reduction. So it's a very complex problem, the conservation of tigers. It requires a really a team of, of people who are committed. What's different this time is that we have redefined the way we approach conservation. We've shifted from what I call isolated interventions by individual organizations to a coordinated collective impact. And the Tiger Range countries are in the driver's seat. They know the value of protecting the tiger. They know what it means to have tigers in their habitats and protect their habitats. It's time for action on the ground to end the poaching and trafficking of tigers. We also have to protect and restore habitats where tigers roam. People are the problem, but people are also the solution. Bangladesh has the highest density of population in the world. And uh, because of the population increase, uh, there is enormous pressure on the forest and people are dependent on the forest. People go on regular basis to the forest for their living. So it is important to have partnership with the local people. A lot of people who live in the forest or just contiguous to the forest are very poor. Through various poverty alleviation programs, we try and work with communities so that they have alternative income generating opportunities. So instead of going to the forest, instead of sending their cattle to the forest for grazing, you know, we give them alternative options. Uh, for example, ecotourism would be one option that uh, we are exploring. GTI is an effective force. It is enhancing the World Bank's role in ensuring sustainable growth so that it reaches and benefits the poor, uh, people who remain dependent on forest. One tiger reserve, Panna Tiger Reserve, we lost all tigers some two years back due to poaching. And then we successfully reintroduced tiger in this Panna Tiger Reserve. We brought two females from other tiger reserves and male. And now it's booming with babies. 
the GTI has emerged as a new business and policy model for how governments in the conservation community can work together with the World Bank Group to be able to conserve biodiversity. We've got increasing interest in trying to apply this model to other areas of conservation, whether elephants or rhinos or leopards. To me, it's an essential part of uh, being a human being uh, that you have to connect uh, with nature, with the uh, rich biodiversity that is part of, of nature. Without that, I think we would be losing our soul. Because if you just run this crazy life in the urban world, you, you, lose, you lose all, all, all sides to what, what's important. And having appreciation of wildlife and wilderness is one of those anchors that, that keep us, keep, keep a sense of proportion to what we do. I feel that tigers, the day they get extinct, they will not only create a complete destabilization of the balance of nature, but would actually be a proof of a tragedy for which humankind or human race will never be able to free itself. We need our message to be heard around the globe. Tigers are worth much more alive than dead.